Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. We love having this DW735 planer. It's been a great addition. And one of the features is the turret that allows you to preset thicknesses on it. But how do you know if the turret's correct? Hey, we'll show you how to calibrate it. Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay from DirtFarmerJay.com. We love the features that we found on our DeWalt DW735 planer, and we've upgraded it with several things here that we'll point out as we go. But what we're gonna focus on today is this great little feature called the turret. What this allows you to do is to set the finished thickness of stock you're gonna run. And as you can see, there's a range of them here, uh, starting an eighth inch for thinnest, up to a quarter, half inch, three quarter, one inch, and one and a quarter inch if I raise this a little bit more so that it can cut down to that. So those are presets, but if there's a change out, like what we did, we put in the Shelix um, segmented head uh, in this unit. And by the way, if you wanna see that installation of the review, just check out the links that are showing above. Uh, or in the description below. But we put in the Shelix head. It was just very slightly a different diameter cutting arc than what came with the factory three knife installed head that was here. Um, and so by doing that, we had to calibrate a couple things. One is whatever comes out of here that you cut, that is the finished thickness and you need to adjust everything else. So whether it is, a visual sight reading gauge, or you put on a digital gauge like this Wixie. And if you wanna see how to calibrate that Wixie and install that, look for those links below down in the description as well, or the links that show up above. Now, once we've got these two talking to each other, now we need to make sure that this is lined up. And as you can see, when we put this all together, crank this down, and we're just gonna set it to the one inch uh, thickness that we want, when we cranked it down to that final thickness and say, okay, I'm hoping to produce one inch stock and you just let it bump it, you don't crank hard. When it hits that, if I go back and check out the readout over here on the Wixie digital readout, it's telling me, no, you're actually producing stock a little bit thicker. Uh, it's showing 1.03, which is one inch and a 32nd. So this now needs to be adjusted so that when we bring this down and bump against it, it says one, this says one, everything is ready to go. Let me show you how easy that is to do. The first thing we need to do is raise the cutter head, uh, and that means reversing the handle back like this. I kind of um, remember this kind of like as a pilot, if you're flying a stick aircraft, if you push down or forward, the plane's gonna go down. If you pull back, it's gonna climb. So we're climbing this up out of the way to give it some clearance. And now you can see over here, uh, the rod that is the stop rod plus the adjustment nut on it. Well, right now it's reading too high. So what that means, we're just gonna take a half inch or about 12 millimeter wrench. We're gonna put it on the nut here and just slightly loosen that just a little bit. And now I can take this rod and I'm gonna just turn it and shorten it just a little bit. And just a little bit of trial and error. I'm gonna go ahead and set that like this. Now I'm gonna turn this back on over here and Go ahead and descend the cutter head until it bumps the top of the turret rod. And let's just see what we get. We got, oh, about a quarter inch more to go. Let's see if I hit it. Nope, I'm still thick. Uh, not me personally, but the wood that's coming out of here, okay? So uh, I still need to lower the rod a bit. So I'm gonna raise this a little bit more, go back over, open this. Give it a little bit more of a turn down and go ahead and tighten this. Now you don't have to tighten it too hard and you might leave it loose, but I kind of like it to be home where it needs to be. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm watching my gauge over here. As I come down, let's see, we hit it. So we're at 1.0 right now. So now this is calibrated to the readout which is calibrated to the output of the planer. So everything's in sync here. It's a beautiful thing. 
And for those of you that have a bandsaw in your maker space, you know how incredibly valuable it is. Well, check out this episode where we show you six great upgrades, inexpensive, highly effective, will get more use out of your bandsaw. You'll love it. And while you're at it, check out this other video from our catalog that YouTube thinks is perfect for your interest, and we'd love it if you watch it too. Until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay from DirtFarmerJay.com.